Back on the channel with another video and today we're gonna do a comparison between uh, Poco X3 NFC and Xiaomi Mi 10T Lite 5G two great devices, two great mid-range that has been released recently on the market uh, pretty much they are similar even on the design but more on the specs and today we're gonna try to cover all the specs and to find the differences between these two devices the design is pretty much the same if you can see even the cameras except the LED flash which is situated apart from the cameras on Mi 10T Lite 5G but it's integrated with all the cameras on Poco X3 NFC also the buttons are quite on the same side we got the fingerprint scanner situated on the right side right here and the volumes the button for the volumes are situated up from the fingerprint scanner on the both devices are quite similar on the top we got an infrared so you can control your devices from your house and the noise cancelling on both devices on the left side the same sim tray and we're gonna open in a second so we're gonna discover how many C cards you can put on um, Poco X3 NFC and Mi 10T Lite and on the bottom we got the speaker grill the USB Type-C port and the 3.5 mm port for both devices also we got another speaker grill on the top and these phones support dual stereo speakers if you can see both devices support two sim cards at the same time on the same tray and no one it's coming with another extra space to put a micro sd card so you're gonna have to take off a sim card in order to put a micro sd on the same tray so you're gonna have a sim card plus micro sd or you're just gonna have two sim cards but not expendable storage so uh, when you're gonna choose the smartphone would be your choice if you want to choose the 64 gigabyte storage or 128 storage the poco x3 nfc supports ip53 splash proof which it doesn't say the same for mi 10t lite 5g but if you're looking on the sim tray you're gonna find that both are sealed with this uh, rubber around the sim tray which you may think maybe Mi 10T Lite also supports some kind of splash proof but is not official and if you're asking about the difference I would say that uh, Mi 10T Lite 5G it's uh, slightly thinner than uh, Poco X3 NFC we got 9.4 millimeters for Poco and 9 millimeters for Mi 10T Lite 5G the weight it's uh, quite the same 215 grams for Poco and 214.5 grams for Mi 10T Lite 5G we got also uh, a plastic bag for Poco and um, glass bag for this uh, Mi 10T Lite 5G and if you can see a magnet for fingerprints uh, not that much you can see on this Mi 10 but actually they are quite a lot also on the front we got uh, glass and the plastic frame for this Mi 10T Lite 5G and an aluminium frame for this Poco X3 NFC moving on the display we got an uh, 6.67 inch IPS LCD with 120 Hz refresh rate and HDR10 with also 84.6 screen to body ratio a full HD plus resolution with 395 ppi density and for protection we got Corning Gorilla Glass 5 and seems that all these specs are quite the same on both devices and the display looks great on both of them nice colors quite vivid and um, I cannot say a much difference between these two devices on YouTube you can put both devices on full HD on 60 frames per second HDR for an even better video quality and um, probably you can see this quality right here on both devices 
and uh, probably it's hard to find a big difference between these two. This woman looks just a bit bright on this mid and light 5G. Also the brightness on both devices are on maximum so you can make an opinion about video on uh, both of them. If you're looking on the display probably you're gonna find out that this Mi 10 t Lite 5G is quite white and more bright but it's nothing activated or deactivated on this Poco X3 NFC. If you can see the sunlight mode it's off also if I type filter it's nothing to show up also if we go in on the display we got this reading mode which is off color scheme which is on out on both devices can be set up on saturated which on this moment looks that um, Poco it's coming white at this moment let's go back if we go in on auto seems that remain so probably you can fix that problem if it's looking more white if you can see now it's looking more white on this one than on this um, Mi 10 Lite 5G so all depends on the contrast let's see on standard yeah getting more darker on Mi 10 Lite and more bright on this um, Poco saturated saturated they are now on the same level quite white on both devices but even stronger on this um, Poco and uh, you can set up warm warm cool cool let's say on both of them or even custom but let's leave it on default on uh, saturated or maybe on auto why not okay and like I said this one supports 120 Hertz refresh rate you can set up on 60 on both devices but for a better experience you can leave it on 120 Hertz refresh rate and uh, if you want to keep on 120 Hertz refresh rate you're gonna have a better experience while uh, scrolling down on a web page and I left uh, both of these devices on 120 Hertz refresh rate because that looks um, much faster and um, yeah it's a better experience and why not even if the battery is dropping um, faster we got an Android 10 on both devices based on a MIUI 12 going about phone we're gonna find out that we got MIUI 12.0.4 version on Poco and 12.0.6 for Mi 10 t Lite 5G we got 64 storage and uh, if we're going on all the specs we got 6 gigabytes of RAM octa core both devices maximum 2.30 and maximum 2.2 gigahertz on Mi 10 Android 10 MIUI version Android security patch level was on the 1st of the 10th 2020 and uh, pretty much uh, that's it also if you're gonna choose the version with uh, 128 gigabytes for Mi 10 t Lite 5G you're gonna have a better speed on uh, writing uh, this version with 64 gigabytes use the same memory speed UFS 2.1 the same like on Poco X3 NFC and like I said before we got dual stereo speakers on both devices we're gonna test out that and we're gonna try to find if it's any difference between these two I did choose a video song on YouTube so we're just gonna play first on Poco the volume it's quite on the middle just try now Mi 10 looks a bit more loud on uh, Mi 10 let's move uh, the volume on maximum and let's find out uh, now
It seems that um, Mi 10 T Lite 5G it's uh, probably slightly better, more loud than um, Poco X3 NFC but this is only my opinion. Moving on the performance now we got a score of 284,000 points on the Sun Tutu app for Poco and 320,000 points for Mi 10 T Lite 5G. The Mi 10 is coming with the Snapdragon 7 50, a 5G chipset on 8 nanometers. Also, uh, Poco is coming with the Snapdragon 732G, also on 8 nanometers. The GPU is an Adreno 618, and uh, for Mi 10, we got an Adreno 619. And we're gonna try to play a bit, let's say, on this uh, PUBG mobile. We're gonna try to find out if we can put on um, different settings or which one it's better on uh, graphic quality or the frame rate. We are in the game now and if you can see we got the same result on both devices Poco and Mi 10 on graphics on smooth and frame rate on ultra but if we switch on HD on both of them yeah it's gonna be the same result HDR is not available HDR is not available unless if you're gonna install that GFX tool to put on Ultra HD yeah that would be a good chance to play on um, Ultra details, Ultra graphics on both devices but uh, until then both of them are quite great good gameplay on both devices I did play on both of them so it'd be no problem um, to run uh, PUBG Mobile. Moving on the camera, we got a 64 megapixel uh, primary camera on both devices. The difference would be that on Poco we got a 13 megapixel ultra wide camera, and on Mi 10 we got an 8 megapixel ultra wide camera. On Poco X3 NFC we got a 2 megapixel macro camera and a 2 megapixel deep camera and on a Mi 10 T Lite we got a 2 megapixel macro camera and 2 megapixel deep camera. Also on both devices you can record on 4K 30 frames per second and we got electronic image stabilizations on both of them. On the front we got a 20 megapixel camera for Poco and a 16 megapixel camera for Mi 10. Also you got the different modes so you can choose from uh, photo, video, 64 megapixel, night mode, front and back, portrait or even more and you got the same menu also on this uh, Mi 10 T Lite 5G you can customize in so many ways you got the pro mode, you got the short video, panorama, documents, vlog, slow motion and so on let's go back on a photo at this moment and you got uh, the menu right here you can choose how you want to record and uh, you got settings right here settings watermark live tips scan QR code and uh, you got quite a lot of options on both devices quite similar you got HDR AI and um, let's have another look right here going on video let's go back here you can choose to record on um, full HD on 4k 30 frames per second and um, it's quite pretty good I haven't done a test with this camera for these uh, both devices but um, I may do it on a further video on the K menu on both devices we got quite the same shortcuts if you can see right here we got the Wi-Fi mobile data location Bluetooth NFC so we can make payments with these devices vibrate mode, flashlight, mute, screenshot auto brightness, dark mode on both devices Mi remote so you can control uh, different devices uh, from your house for example you got scanner, do not disturb, floating window and uh, ultra battery saver, cast hotspot and uh, what else we got? Mi share, bedtime mode, uh, nearby focus and VPN by Google One. So pretty much we got the same shortcuts on both devices without any difference. A difference would be on battery. For Poco we got a 5160 mAh battery and for Mi 10 T Lite 5G we got a 4920 mAh battery. 
We got fast charging on 33 watts on both devices and it's advertised that this POCO is charging in um, 30 minutes at 62% and in 65 minutes at 100%. It's nothing advertised for this Mi 10 T Lite 5G but I may do it a charging video soon on the channel so um, stay close. POCO X3 NFC it's coming in uh, two different colors in cobalt blue this one and shadow gray and Mi 10 T Lite 5G it's coming in Atlantic Blue which is this one the pearl grey and the rose gold beach and the prices for both devices are quite similar with probably slightly more expensive on Mi 10 T Lite 5G because probably of this new 5G chipset and uh, the prices would be around 200 pounds for both of them if not a little bit more expensive on this Mi 10 T Lite 5G and like a final conclusion, let's say the big differences between these two devices would be on the chipset Snapdragon 732G versus Snapdragon 750 5G. We got a different GPU, Adreno 618 and Adreno 619 for Mi 10. The UFS 2.1 for Poco and the UFS 2.2 in the variant with 128 gigabytes of storage. On the camera we got an ultra wide camera of 13 megapixel for POCO and an 8 megapixel ultra wide for Mi 10 T Lite 5G. Dual LED flash for this POCO and dual LED dual tone flash for this Mi 10 T Lite 5G. The selfie camera on POCO 20 megapixel and the 16 megapixel camera for Mi 10 T Lite 5G. Also you can record on HD with 120 frames per second with this selfie camera for this uh, Mi 10 which you can record only on full HD 30 frames per second on this um, POCO with the selfie camera also on GPS you got uh, a GPS on POCO and on Mi 10 T Lite you got uh, dual band a GPS you got FM radio on POCO and recording and for Mi 10 T Lite is not specified and the last difference would be on battery which POCO is coming with 5160 mAh battery and uh, Mi 10 T Lite with uh, 4820 and Bain said thank you for watching this video give it a like share subscribe to the channel and see you soon with another interesting one